All right, in this video, we're going to analyze Jordan on his run, also his plant. We're going to take note that his second to last left is between the two cones at 23. His takeoff should be around 12 feet or so. Things to take note of when you hit your second to last left is, one, the pull tip is at eye level. That's number one. And you're also going to notice that when he rolls off his foot, his back hand is going to move off the hip. Now you notice on this with Jordan, he kind of rolls it, but doesn't really push it forward particularly well. He kind of brings it alongside of his body. But then right about here, through his penultimate, he pushes forward. He's a little bit late. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is the last step. Now last step, this is a very nice last step, and I'll tell you why. You take the line of his spine, okay, and then you put the line of the spine with the bottom foot. You'll see that his foot, bottom foot, is lined up perfectly with his spine here and his hip. And this angle here, what he's making with his knee, this is, think of this like a spring, okay. When he rolls forward, he's going to spring off his foot forward. Okay. Now, whenever you see an athlete strike with their foot out in front of themselves like this, and it's not in line with the spine, that's a breaking stride. And this is not that. This is an acceleration foot underneath the hip, punching and rolling off the toe, right into pre-stretch, which is right here. This is our pre-stretch. Now, you'll notice something very interesting about this. As he's throwing his chest and head forward, Okay, you'll notice that as he rolls off his toe, he's pre-stretching, and at the same time, that bottom arm is pushing up over his head. Okay, now big misconception in the pole vault is to push the hand forward and try to make the pole bend or uh, over bend the pole. What happens if you do that is if you plant with your bottom arm low, the instead of having the pre-stretch, which is like this, what you get is if you have the low arm, you're going to get something like this. Okay. And your chest is going to drop back a bit. And that doesn't give you the full potential energy of a swing. And you won't get the pole rolling as well, having the high, hands high in the air like this. This is where you want to be. He has a little bit of a soft trail leg right there, but with time he'll figure that out. Notice how he's holding pre-stretch. He snaps the swing. As soon as he snaps the swing, he pushes hands forward, compressing the pole through the post-up phase and then explosion off the top. Now that bar was at 16 feet or so, but you get the idea about the plan, okay? So that's basic 101 with the plant rolling off the toe, okay? And then also second to last left, his at 23 right there, and pull tip at eye level, okay? So that's just something to think about when you're coaching. Hope that was helpful.